each one of those is an instrument on a different channel. So that's one, and the instrument is whatever that is, something grand, hard to see on that screen. Um, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six, so there's eight different instruments, eight different channels. So that now that they're all set, all you have to do when set up properly to change your instrument as you're recording is change the track. So, what that allows you to do, make sure there's nothing recorded on there. When I hit record, I'm going to have really quick workflow. volume a little. Track five. Ooh. Sounds terrible. As I adjust this knob because it's set up. Okay, so anyway, the volume is all whacked, but you get the point. The workflow becomes much easier. Then, while you're doing that, because I have the laptop set up to the B channel, I can continue with my recording. I can continue with my recording and use the VSTs. And these are also sensitive to the knobs because they're all set up through the MIDI and that will record There you go. Last thing I'm going to talk to you about is the iOS app Animoog. That's a great app and it is $30. It was 99 cents for a while. Um, I've found that it's worth every penny. When routed properly, 
Um, you can use your MPC, your USB, MIDI keyboard controller, and your iPad um, going through the laptop, of course, to act as an analog synthesizer. So um, it works the same way. You just go ahead and hit record. Okay, that sounds terrible, but... You see the potential. You can make pretty much any sound you want. There are several different um, sound banks here um, and each one has a bunch and they're all adjustable. Um, I have yet to find another synthesizer app on the iOS that is as adjustable. So that's the basic gist of everything I wanted to show you. I understand I'm not using fancy equipment um, I'm trying to show you how you can do a lot with a little. And if there's any comments on um, how to make my life easier, um, if you want me to go over anything that I went over here more specifically, um, I can try and get a better video um, of some of the more technical things about assigning mini channels, uh, you know, routing and stuff like that. Let me know. Um, I appreciate you watching this. And... Hopefully I didn't make too big of an ass of myself. Um, and I hope this helps somebody because uh, I can't tell you how many times I've looked for things on YouTube about uh, specific routing and um, you know doing stuff on a budget. It's what I do. So uh, I build my own things. I, I take things apart. Um, I try to make things easier. So there will be more videos to come. Um, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks.